23 years ago, the alien Seth invaded our world. We stopped them. I stopped them. But the Cell Corporation seized the opportunity, stepping into the power vacuum, quickly growing in size and influence to the brink of world domination. Cell took us all by surprise. Even me. They call me Prophet. And I'm the only one who knows what's coming. Cell are not the real threat to our world. The most powerful alien, the Alpha Seth, still lives. He showed me a glimpse of the future. He knows what drives me, what I believe. That being a good soldier comes down to one thing, to one single question. What are you prepared to sacrifice? Remember me. When they came to me with the nano suit, I sacrificed Lawrence Barnes, the man I was, to become prophet. When my own flesh and blood held me back, I sacrificed that too replaced it like a spare part. Victory costs. Every time you pay a little more. I saw a glimpse of what's coming. And there was nothing left of me to stop it. machine fails, what do we do then? What do I do?
Whoa, 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 whoa! Easy! Friendlies! You remember friendlies. Psycho. Where's your nano suit? Cell skinned me. Skinned us all. You're the last one. It's all about that suit now. Here, take my backup. Dane, three to come out. Welcome to New York, version two point zero. What have they done? The city has an energy signature. Why is that? It's Cell. They're channeling energy from alien technology running their entire global power grid off a single Ceph machine inside this dome. It can't be that simple. It really is, mate. You kill the power, you kill Cell. As simple as you like. No, the Alpha Ceph showed me a vision. We've been through this before. There's got to be a connection somehow. Prophet, the aliens are gone. You finished them off yourself. Just a few waves and strays left. No, there's something more. If we can just find a hint, Somewhere here, a clue. Listen, while you were off hunting some super alien that didn't even exist, Cell were busy taking over the world. We need you back in the here and now, boss. We need you to help us stop Cell. There's more than your revolution going on here. I've seen this. Cell are toying with powers they can't begin to understand. Whatever they're doing, it's going to bring about the end of the world. We have to shut them down. Fucking right we do. Let's get moving. is intact. Initiating terminal velocity. Copy that, Romeo-1. You have cleared the perimeter. The Liberty Dome is designed to contain a Ceph threat. You have the advantage. Cell units are organizing their response. We estimate you have about uh, 30 minutes. The highlighted area is still a go. Cell ground activity is minimal here, but the towers are still 100% functional. Stay safe. Bring that hardware home, Romeo One. Psycho! This train is full of highly explosive material! Yep. Oh, yeah. This is your plan? Yeah. Come on, you bastards.
Well, I don't know about you, but I call that fucking flawless. <laughs> Number one soldier on the line. Open a window to the safe house. ETA 10 minutes. Romeo 1, Romeo Actual. You will maintain radio protocol. Now bring that hardware home. Over and out. Let's go. What a hard ass. Listen, she's all right when you get to know her. Just don't mention the visions. Okay? Psycho? Why does she keep calling me hardware? Listen up. As long as Cell controls the power, they control us. Enslave us. Cell's Golden Goose rests at the Zuckerman Energy Nexus near Broad Street Station. They call it System X. This remnant of Ceph technology is contained within a single harvesting facility several hundred meters below street level. Nothing in Cell's military industrial world is guarded as tightly as this. If Cell have an Achilles heel, this is it. You all know we've taken heavy losses in the last few months. An operational command has fallen to me. Our backs are against the wall and Cell are all over us. So it's now or never. We take Cell down today, or we die trying. Welcome to our humble abode. Cell are always on our tail. We have to move around like nomads. Your mission has priority. You will get relief. Just get the picture. Okay. Shit! All units, outpost to rig to blow. Fall back to the green line. Stay mobile. Hello, sweetheart. Hold on, Michael. I'll be with you in a moment. Welcome home. Cell is hammering us with digital artillery. Our network is being torn apart. Get us back online, now. Claire. Using reflectors to bounce the signal. Yeah, I don't give a shit. We need to get back online. Claire. God. Michael. What a day. We lost some good people. I was trying to contact Dane when... What the... Oh, no. No, no. Claire. This is Prophet. My CO from... Look at the modifications, Michael. Is it Seth? Cell? Is it even human? Have we been sacrificing good people for that, that, mutation? Look! This is not just a suit, Michael. Claire. Claire. Five months now we've been here. The balance of asymmetrical warfare favors us less every day. This was meant to be our Normandy. But alas, here we are in hiding. We nibble here, we nibble there, but we can't turn the tide, we can't build momentum. We need a game changer. Major Lawrence Barnes. The Prophet. Karl Ernst Rasch. At your service. Rasch, I remember you. Hold still, please. Recombinant DNA. Human. Seth, synthetic, incredible. I can't get a read on you. Oh, come now, Lawrence, what did you expect? I designed your suit, my dear fellow, of course. It can't get a read on me. Claire's right, you know about the risk. So much power, but volatile and willful and fractious. Tell me, did Michael brief you on our plans? I'll brief him when we move out, sir. It's brilliant, boss. This will cripple Cell for good. 
the situation is far worse than any of you can imagine. I have visions, glimpses. Ugh. We will take the fight to sell. Shut down that energy nexus and end all this, or whatever they're doing will bring about the extinction of all life on this planet. Remember that. You sound quite prophetic. Is that intentional? It's very apropos. Now, let's go save the species. Shall we? Right then. Let's move out. Watch yourself, man. No, I will. Let's go. This is it. Shut the bastards down. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you. Today we shall rise up and throw off our trains. Psycho, I'm in. Packing the cell security overrides now. Emergency power shutdown system request. Just scraped this from Cell's databanks. Looks like we just broke out their biggest secret. That creature was the source of Cell's energy. The Alpha Seth. He's way more powerful than I expected. When I was near him, I saw things the Seth didn't want me to see. If they can get into my head, maybe I can get into theirs and find a weakness. Psycho, you know of a suit cradle nearby? Yeah. Skinning lab with Cell, help me. Let's link up there in 30 mics. Be careful in there, Michael. There are some things you can never forgive. We just deployed in the swamp. Affirmative, moving to sector. All quiet. You hear that? All clear over here. False alarm. Understood. Resume perimeter sweep. No visible target. Moving to next checkpoint. Is 
Something there? Must be nothing. Too. No, no sign of profit. Call it in. Blacktail Actual, this is Blacktail Niner. Delancey 4 Alpha is clear. Moving to the next quadrant. Over. Negative, Blacktail Niner. Condition Red Star Rising has been initiated ah. by Nex. Over. Red Star Rising, please confirm that this is not a mistake. Over. Confirmed. Red Star Rising has been set. Over. No, shit, shit, shit. What are they thinking? Red Star Rising? What's wrong with them? I don't know. Screw Prophet. Let's get out of here. Hey! What about Stever? Fuck him. He'll catch up. You heard of this Red Star Rising, Psycho? No, never. Cell don't spook easily. Find out what you can. We'll meet up at the rendezvous. This is it. Claire, open the door. Hold on. You all right? Yeah. You in? Yep. Halfway. Calibrating sensor remotes. Like the lay. Compensate in. We're in. Locked. Have a seat, mate. We have to be sure about this. Unlocking the suit means breaking the safety seals, rerouting the nanites. If he's infused with Ceph technology now, there's no telling what he'll become. Why boss? Do it. I'm accessing the memory retrieval systems. Filter in. There was always a risk. We triggered a fundamental change in your nature. In your nature. But to defeat an enemy of such unrelenting technological ferocity, we have become one. Blockers on your dopamine receptors. Blockers. Your mind would be protected without them. Without them. Exposure to the hive mind would consume you. Blockers. Okay, let's pull them out. The dopamine blockers are cleared. I'm registering critical neurological changes. You should be able to make a clear link with the Ceph now. What's this? Michael, you shouldn't. Don't. Why not? It won't help. Operation? The nano suit is then fully removed. Subject 8A, Sergeant Michael Sykes, is, uh, is still functioning at near optimal levels, but accelerated degradation is to be expected. Listen to me. You are the reason why. I, I mean, I fight Cell because of you. Because. Is that why you cared? Or were you pretending to care because of this? Because of your own fucking guilt? I didn't have a choice, Michael! The Cell program, we were in debt. You know how this works. I was forced to do this. To all of those people. I had to listen to their screams day after day after day. I know what I did. Jesus, believe me, I know. And I'll have to carry that with me as long as I live. Every day of my life. Michael! And feeling bad about it makes it all right, does it? If you're so fucking sorry, Claire, how come I had to find out like this? 
Why didn't you just come clean, you lying Psycho. fuck? Listen to me. You know how it works. You know she didn't have a choice. She did what she had to do. No choice. Just doing what she's told. Just following orders. Who the fuck does that sound like, Prophet? I'll tell you one thing, though. She was right about you. You might as well be a fucking machine because you sure as hell ain't no human being anymore. I mean, you never were much good at it to begin with, but Jesus Christ, look at you now! Whose face are you wearing under that helmet these days, Prophet? Do you even have a face anymore? We all had to make sacrifices. You had a choice, mate. Everyone has a choice. Look, I told you everything you needed to know. Remember these. All the men who died under your command because you were just following orders. Because you had no choice. Just like her. Psycho. No, mate. You take that suit of yours. And you go fight your own battles. Like always. Mike! Wait. No, Claire. He's right. Let him go. Oh, God. We just got intel on Red Star Rising. Listen carefully. Archangel is a key regulator platform in Cell's new wireless energy grid. But that's not all it does. The system's massive power store can be discharged via a broad area directed energy weapon, meaning assured destruction of hostile elements and metropolitan area depopulation events. Protocols exist for Archangel to be retasked for a number of alternate outcomes. When that outcome is the threat of Ceph Stage 3, Archangel begins the most aggressive protocol set available Red Star Rising. Oh, God. They're gonna obliterate New York. Total. Orbital. Annihilation. Why can't Cell stay out of my goddamn way? I need to get everyone out to the perimeter. You're wasting your time. I have to save as many lives as I can. No. It won't matter. It's not gonna be like Link Shan. Archangel has a massive global energy store. They feed all that power back into the Alpha Sep and it'll punch one hell of a hole in the Earth. There'll be no Earth left. So what can we do? Connect to a Ceph mine carrier. If I can get inside their heads, maybe I can reverse the awakening, put them all back to sleep. If there's no Ceph threat, Cell will call off Archangel. You're going to link yourself to the Ceph? Prophet, you struggled to resist their influence even when your mind was protected. We've turned those safeties off now. That means the nanites in your suit are free. That means they can transform into anything, any form imaginable. You could actually become a Ceph. That's a risk I'm willing to take. I see it now. I... We here are connected. Prophet! Prophet? Are you there? Are you okay? They aren't attacking you. Oh my god. They think you're Seth. No, not just Seth. They think I'm the Alpha Seth. I am the Alpha Seth. Prophet! Prophet! It's too dangerous! You're losing yourself to the Seth! Prophet! Lawrence! No! No, I'm okay. I'm all right, I'm all right. I feel the hive mind. It's so powerful. That's it. Their thoughts.
thoughts and the power, it's all the same thing. If I can only... Shit. What's that? The real Alpha Seth. Get out of there, Prophet! We need to link up ASAP. The situation is out of control. It didn't work, but the Sev Hive Mind is pure energy. If I let them in a little more, I can take that power for myself. Prophet, come back to me and listen. I've got more details on Archangel. It's already in transfer orbit. It could be on us within the hour. We also know cells evacuated everywhere but a single facility about five clicks from here. It must be a command point for the satellite. Get me inside, and we can shut Archangel down together. Are you with me on this, soldier? Yes, ma'am. Prophet, help me out here. I need you to access that terminal. Accessing. Emergency procedures in progress. All remaining cell operatives must evacuate to subterranean containment facility. Five, Epsilon, nine. Stop it. Just 
like me. Except you lost. They absorbed you. And now you're one of them. is the final and most deadly element of the Ceph colonization strategy. If met with significant and persistent resistance, a Ceph incursion force will seek to open an Einstein-Rosen bridge direct to the heart of its parent galaxy. From there, Ceph overhives will deploy their dedicated warrior cast to obliterate any and all obstructions. We've only seen a fraction of what the Ceph can do. This is an extinction level event. <coughs> The Alpha Ceph will keep powering that beam until their entire invasion force is through. We have to shut it. Claire! 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 Prophet! Call me that. 
We have to shut that energy beam down, Psycho, or everyone is going to die. Do you understand me? And what the fuck am I supposed to do about it, eh? I'm Michael Sykes. I'm just a human prophet. I couldn't even save one fucking life, not one. You selfish son of a bitch. Don't you get it yet? Rash had me pinned back there, kept me locked down because of this damn suit. If you'd been wearing the suit, we'd all be dead. You being human is what saved us. We all human, Psycho. And we all fought. Me, you, Nomad, Jester, all of us. We fought. Not the goddamn nano suits. Now it's just you and me that's left. We can make a difference. One last mission. Do you think she'd want you to quit now? Level Vulture 4, we need immediate support. Pilot, we're under massive self-assault. Can't hold out much. Psycho. Michael. Just so we're clear, this is gonna be a slaughter. Too fucking right it is. And I'm gonna be doing the slaughtering. Like you said, boss, I don't need a suit. I don't need tech. I just need bottle, right? You take out the artillery. I'll bring in the veto. Go on, mate. It ain't the end of the world. I'll see you on the other side.
Michael? Where the hell are you? this. You know where to find me. I'm going to kill him. Let's do this. Time. We're too late. They're through. 
When they came to me with the nanosuit, I sacrificed Lawrence Barnes, the man I was, to become Prophet. 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 Maybe the greatest tactical combat machine the world has ever known. Just following orders. Is it even human? You might as well be a fucking machine. But when you've sacrificed everything you had to become a perfect, cold, hard, logical machine, and that machine fails, what happens then? But Hold on! Everybody has a choice. When profit fails, what's left? Have something, Prophet. Raj! Hold on! Something the Seth will never have or understand. Lawrence! It was never just about the same! Raj! Hold on!
comment earlier today. Time and again, we look to new miracle technologies to solve all our problems and pay whatever price was asked of us. And in doing so, we lost sight of who we really are and who we can be. The best version of ourselves. A machine must be a tool to serve humanity, not a cage to trap it. As a people, as a world, we've been given a second chance. Let's never forget what we learned. For the cost of that knowledge has been very high indeed. None of us know what the future holds, but we will make it together. With full recognition of all that has been lost, and all that we have found again. First week of boot camp. They taught us a lesson. A good soldier knows there's only one thing he can rely on when the chips are down. Not his cutting edge intel, not his state of the art equipment, not his top of the line weapon, just himself. Took me a long time to remember that. For now, the war is over. I made mistakes along the way, but after all, I'm only human. My name is Lawrence Barnes. They called me... <laughs>